We were dealing with just a customer here recently and we showed them this solution and they said, well, how many weeks is it going to take? And we're like, we're going to have it up in an hour. <laughs> Why is it so important to have an alternative to fiber? Just make that live for us a little bit, Jim. The biggest issue is getting it done. When a carrier wants to go out and try to deploy a fiber network, they have to plan at the least nine months, maybe even two years ahead of time to go through the permitting cycles. So that's a lot of money. So that's why you try to utilize Mimosa equipment in FWA environment where you can bypass that, where permitting is no longer the major item, where you can now go in and cross over barriers using unlicensed spectrum that is open to everyone and you can do it today. We were dealing with just a customer here recently that was more used to the permitting cycle we just talked about and we showed them this solution and they said, well, how many weeks is it going to take? And we're like, we're going to have it up within an hour. <laughs> it's going to be ready to go. So the speed, the efficiency, and be able to do outreach and also do it at speeds that is almost fiber light is pretty compelling.